Hey guys, John Sharps here from the Gun Bench. Brought with me today a Savage 110 short action. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to update the Savage 110 with our new Heat Seeker chassis for the Savage 110 short actions. All right, first things first, we'll pop the mag out of here. Check that it's clear. Uh, in this case, for removing these mags, you hold the trigger down and that uh, bolt release. All right, so now we got the bolt free and the mag free. I'm gonna mount this into my vise. I've got some soft jaws here in my vise just to help me hold it steady without marring up the barrel at all. All right, so we're gonna remove the action screws from the, uh, from the Savage stock. There's one up front. And there's one behind this bolt release. And then there's one at the back. All right. So with that, we can just remove the, bar uh, the stock from the barreled action of the Savage 110 set that aside so now you've you've got the savage 110 ready for upgrade uh, with heat seeker heat seeker comes packaged just like this um, inside there'll be a qr code you can hit if you want to find instructions or a video like this one and then inside we've got the chassis body the handguard and a bag of parts so i'm going to grab the chassis body first thing and those parts so with the Savage 110, they've got an integrated front lug and we've got an integrated lug pocket right here. Really just line those two things up and drop the chassis body over the barreled action. Then we'll grab the bag of parts and look for the action screws that we provide. It's just a couple of them. And we're going to put the front, the first action screw with the three sixteenths. Just get that going and we get the first one snug. I didn't really put any torque on it. Now the second action screw is right behind our magazine lever. So in the case of the Savage 110, we were able to design it so you can just press that mag lever forward and drop the screw in behind and get your hex wrench in behind. Again, we're just going to get that snug to start. Then we're going to get out our torque wrench. Also in the bag of parts is a little extended hex wrench. So if you, if you're, uh, if you need it for use with your own torque, torque wrench, like what I have here, you can just attach that in and make sure you've got the right, the right torque. So this is me torquing this wrench up to 55 pounds. Then I'm going to hit this front screw first until that pops over then again push the magazine lever forward get down in behind there until you got 55 on that one 55 pounds should be enough now you've got the chassis body securely attached to the barreled action the torque wrenches always let the pressure back out All right, so once we got the chassis body on, we want to attach the handguard. So I'm going to pull this out of the vise just for a second. The handguard, at first, is just a friction fit. It slides over the barrel and then slides over the chassis body. We'll slide this back into the vise. This will not work for me again. All right, and then in the bag of parts, we've got two handguard screws. We're getting close already. All right, so these are uh, 332nd screws, or take a 332nd hex wrench. This will really lock this handguard in very tightly to the chassis body with the friction fit and then these two screws. I don't have really a torque spec on this. I mean, it's probably 30 pounds, but I just give it, I just give it some meat and it's not gonna come undone and you're not gonna overdo it with it being a 332nd. All right, so now you got the chassis body and the handguard mounted to the barreled action. The only thing is left 
is to add an AR grip and to AR, add an AR buffer stock. Um, in this case, I brought with me a, uh, a Daniel Defense. These are nice texture uh, AR grip. You want a grip that doesn't have the, an AR grip that doesn't have the beaver tail because the way the bolt actions just in general are designed, you won't have room for a beaver tail. So um, that's just what the grip's gonna look like, but actually I'm gonna pull that off and back up. I'm gonna attach the, uh, the uh, buffer tube and stock. Now I have a little assembly here that's just a mil spec buffer tube. You can use mil spec or commercial. The thread on both of those is the same. And a Mission First Tactical Minimalist. I like these, they're only seven ounces. And then I added a little neoprene pad from CDS Tactical. They're like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, for me, using medium height rings, this is all the, the extra height that I need. So um, the reason I pulled that grip off and I'm now threading this buffer tube in is once we get this threaded all the way in, so that's as far as it'll go. I'm gonna back it back out so it's lined up. There's one more screw. This is a set screw that's in the bag. It uses just a little 116 hex. This is gonna help you lock the buffer tube into position. So that goes right here in the back. So thread that all the way in. Again, just give it some decent meat, decent amount of torque there, what you can get with your fingers. And then we can use a regular castle nut wrench. Tighten this the rest of the way. Let's get this going. Just for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to put this down hand tight for now and I'll really torque that in later. But that set screw, the reason we did that first is if you have the grip installed, it can be hard to access the, that set screw. So I do the stock first, get that locked in good, and then add the grip. Our grip screw. Got about 300 of them in here. And we are just about there. threads on these than you think. All right, that is just about it. So now we have the chassis body inside our barreled action, or the Savage barreled action with our chassis and the handguard. Uh, we can add the, oops, I was thinking we're not adding that box mag back in. Just gonna add, actual AI pattern AICS mag in just test functionality there and get our bolt back at added back in there you go that's the bill pretty straightforward um, I think it's a really really easy upgrade it makes for a beautiful upgrade and I think you guys are going to dig it. Check it out. We got them up on the website.